What is up ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another Power World video and today guys I'll be showing you all the traders across the map of Power World. So first off let's jump into our fast travel points. Now our first point of contact is just down here. We have our small settlement which is conveniently located very close to this base. So once you come up into this area you should see the fast travel point. And that is what we'll give it away. But here it is on the map if you want some extra clarification. Here if I zoom out. So that's the starting island. You'll have these two islands, this island, and those two islands available for you. It's just down here. And you've got your basics here. You've got your PDFs, officers. You've got a wandering merchant in that far back building just there. And you also have a PAL merchant located just here. Now these guys do sell sort of low tier stuff because obviously they are one of the first traders that you will have access to. So they will have, I mean they'll have the basic necessities. You can see here we've pretty much got everything you could need. So majority of the suppliers do have this same sort of stock everywhere you go as well. Now the next settlement is located just up here. It is the Dune Shelter. So it is quite a trek away. So do keep mind of that. We'll come over here and show you guys what is out here. So there are actually three traders, four traders actually, out here in the Dune Shelter. So if you make your way... That wasn't supposed to happen. So like I was saying, you want to make your way into the settlement. Now it is a... I mean it's a settlement. What's left of one anyway? I don't know what destroyed it all. But you'll come into the main thoroughfare just here and there are a couple of traders. So they're all located on the left side here. We've got a standard power merchant. Which honestly I don't understand the difference between these guys and the... Uh, well I mean the shop people. So they sell all the pals. And then over here we have the wandering merchant and another wandering merchant. So you can trade from both of them. Uh, this one sells ammunition as well as armor and some extra schematics as well. So you can pick up all of that and then if we come over to this one, this one will sell your organs, your leather and all that sort of stuff. So you can see there, ice organs, uh, we've also got some skill fruits, uh, some seeds as well, some lettuce and high quality pal oil. So as well as that, if we make our way over this way, so let's just come out of here and we come down this way. So from the fast travel point, if you make your way straight back, there is a shady dealer normally situated on this rock. Now, if he isn't there, just come back the next day. He's normally here pretty much every day, I've found. Uh, so this guy is a black market dealer. I don't really know what the difference is between these guys and the standard PAL merchants. Just have more of a chance to get cooler looking uh, PALs. That's actually a really good PAL too. So yeah, so you've got the black marketeer just out here as well. So here it is on the map once again, Dune Shelter. You can see that you need to cross the mainland from back over here, or you could come up this way and across. It's entirely up to you, but there we are on the map. Now there is another black marketeer seller. So what you want to do is you want to head to these rocks in the desert. It's pretty much straight across from the Dune Shelter. You will see these rocks on the map. And what you want to do is you want to make your way around the side here. And you can see just here we have a secret mine shaft. If we make our way inside of this secret mine shaft, you will find that there is another black marketeer here. Now this place is a little bit spookier. There's like guillotines and stuff dotted around the area. Some hanging ropes and stuff like that. But there is another marketeer which you can sell your pals as well. So you can see here we can buy a Fidrian if we want. We've got a bunch of different pals here. And once again, you can also sell your pals as well. So we can even sell our human pal to him as well if we wanted to. Our syndicate thug, he will buy that off us for 112. Who knows what he's going to do with it, but he will buy it. So keep that in mind as well. And finally, the final marketplace is located here on the southwest side of the map at Fisherman's Point just here. So this is kind of like your... I mean, your beachside village, I guess you could call it. You've got a couple of merchants here. So we've got a wandering merchant just here, which once again sells uh, the ammunition and weaponry as well sometimes. And if you make your way straight past that merchant, you will find the PAL merchant down here as well. There he is there. He's got some funny business. No funny business, he said. But there we go. You can see there you can also buy some PALs from him as well. There is also a wandering merchant in this village as well. All you need to do is simply walk left from the wandering merchant, the first one. And this guy will have all your monster parts and all the other stuff that you can get. 
And guys, that is all of the traders located in Power World so far. Let me know if you found any more, but like I mentioned, I've explored majority of the map. There's not really much else for me to explore, and they are all the traders that I've found. Nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below for more. But other than that, I will catch you in the next one.